Hey everyone, it's Mr. Levi here. Today I'm gonna to show you a fun twist on one of my favorite experiments. Uh, it's a classic. It's the volcano experiment. So for this, our change is we're going to actually bury our volcano in the snow. So it's gonna be a snow volcano. So this is super easy. You only need a couple of ingredients and most of the time you can find them at home. You're going to need some vinegar, some dish soap, some baking soda, a red food coloring. If you don't have food coloring, no worries. Um, and then an empty two liter bottle. So for this, like I said, super easy. We're gonna start off with 100 milliliters of cold water and we're gonna pour that straight into our bottle. If your measuring cup does not have milliliters, that's okay. Um, the good rule is you just want one part water to four parts vinegar. So if you have, if you're using half a cup of water, you're gonna want two cups of vinegar. So four half cups. So next we're gonna go with our vinegar. And this one, we're gonna do 400 milliliters. Just like that. And again, you're gonna pour it straight into your bottle. Be careful not to spill. Yeah, if you're like me, your front lawn is covered with snow. So this is a really fun thing to do outside and super quick, super easy. And most of the time you'll end up with a cool eruption, so. Awesome. So that's where we're at right now. Then we are going to add um, just a couple squirts of dish soap. That's pretty good. Not a lot by any means. So just a little bit. And then we're just gonna add a couple drops of our food coloring. Okay, so. There we are right there. Got a little on the cap, that's okay. So that's what it should look like right now. So next thing we're going to do is we're gonna be making a thing called a slurry with our baking soda. So all that is, is we're going to take our baking soda. The boxes are always a little tricky to get open. There we go. There's really no um, precise measurement for this. Um, I'm just gonna do two big spoonfuls. So we're gonna do one spoonful into my measuring cup again, and two spoonfuls, maybe just a little bit more. And then we're just gonna add some water until it kind of just comes together like a mix. So. We'll stir it up. So just like this. Make sure to try to get it all stirred in there. Because when what we're gonna do is after we're done mixing this, we're gonna go outside. We're going to bury our bottle in the snow. And then all we have to do is dump the slurry into our bottle, and that's when our eruption will happen. So that's pretty good. Um, so it should just look kind of almost like milk, honestly. So we're gonna go outside, we're gonna bury our bottle and we're gonna see what happens. Okay everyone, so we're outside. I have buried my bottle in the snow. Um, super easy, I just pushed it in. Tried to make it look a little bit like a volcano, but there's a lot of snow out here so it's kind of hard to get enough. So we have our volcano buried in. So now all we're gonna do is we're going to take our slurry you might have to stir it up just a little bit um, before you do it, just to make sure it's easy pour, and we're gonna pour it straight in. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour slurry into the snow. And there's your snow volcano. Came up a little fast, 
but that's what's gonna happen. So, as you can tell, you gotta be a little quicker than I was when you pour in your baking soda slurry, because that eruption is gonna come really fast. And what causes that eruption is a chemical reaction between the vinegar and the baking soda. So when those two combine, they create a gas called carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide is the same gas that's in your soda. So you know when you shake up a soda and then you open the top and it explodes everywhere, it is the same exact thing happening with our experiment. So when that gas gets super excited, it needs to spread out. And if there's only that one little hole at the opening of our bottle, it's gonna spread out through there and create our big explosion. So a couple ways you can change this up. You can try experimenting with the amount of vinegar you use, the amount of water you use, the amount of baking soda, um, even the amount of food coloring if you wanted. Um, our eruption was more pink than red, so definitely next time I'd add more red. Um, but on that note, make sure you check out all the other cool stuff we have on Civic U, and make sure you send in pictures and videos of your experiment if you do them.